they want to uphold that victim image. I am victim. I am needy. I need support and care. Otherwise, uh, I will just perish. So, you know, in order to, you know, uphold that, in order to, uh, you know, project that image, they never express their needs and concerns directly. Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing good and taking good care of themselves. So today I'm going to talk about why covert narcissists are not into open and direct communication. Yeah. And before I get going, I would request you all to like, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you guys are updated whenever we put out a new content. So covert narcissists or vulnerable narcissists are someone who keep projecting a victim image yeah uh, they keep telling you and reminding you how they had been victimized brutalized how they had been wronged by the entire world how they have lost uh, you know trust and interest uh, in the others and the rest of the world how you know they have given up on hope you know they uh, project a very victim image yeah someone who has been through a lot someone who has suffered a lot yeah and that's how it is covert narcissists want to keep that victim image intact they don't want to lose that victim image and uh, they do a lot of things in order to uh, you know keep uh, upholding to that victim image they do a lot of things constantly playing victim by playing victim they are able to you know trap their you know uh, supply sources their victims yeah and uh, this is their style of love bombing whereas in they will keep playing victim and uh, you take up the role of the rescuer mother i'm going to do this for you daddy i'm going to do this for you husband i'm going to do this for you wife i'm going to do this for you yeah so they are going to keep on telling their sob story they will keep on telling you how they have suffered this and that and um, you know you would uh, genuinely you know have this feeling on the inside that let me put an end to his suffering her suffering let me do this for him so that he or she can be happy but do they really you know get happy with the things that you do no instead they are going to uh, gaslight you yeah, instead they're going to make you feel that you're not good enough let me give you an example so, a covert narcissistic mother is never going to validate her son yeah that you have done this much for me you have done that much for me she is going to keep on guilt tripping the son i did this i did that i went through this i went through that and she's going to keep him reminded and she's going to keep on pushing him you know to do things for her yeah, she, because she has trained her son to, you know, um, do things in order to get validation. Yeah, so the son keeps doing things, you know, uh, in hopes that he's going to get that validation. He's going to be seen and heard. But uh, does the covert narcissistic mother give all of this uh, to the son? No. She keeps, you know, comparing her situation with someone else's situation. She will keep comparing her son with someone else's son. She is never happy. So you can never really make a covert narcissist happy because uh, they are all about playing victim. Yeah. And uh, their mindset is also very different uh, compared to you and me. Uh, if someone does things for us, uh, we feel good and we appreciate and we validate and we thank them we express gratitude but unlike the other narcissists covert narcissists also you know lack empathy they have extreme sense of entitlement yeah uh, though the uh, kind of an image they project is being a victim someone who has lost faith and trust in the entire world was given up on life they they might project such an image but all of that is basically to trap the victim so you know these covert uh, narcissists really uh, don't care as to what you are going through uh, in order to you know uh, bring happiness in their life they will never be thankful like the other narcissists uh, covert narcissists don't express remorse or 
you know express gratitude they take it for granted i'm the victim and you have to do things for me i'm victim i won't do anything you have to now keep doing things for me that's how covert narcissists are so, so covert narcissists do a lot of things to uphold that victim image covert narcissists you know communicate through gaslighting they don't communicate the way how healthy individuals communicate yeah um for a covert narcissist gaslighting is a language in which they communicate with the others yeah so you know they gaslight they will never express you know their needs and concern directly because uh, like the other narcissists covert narcissists have a victim image to maintain they don't want to uh, you know be exposed as the abuser as someone who exploits the others they don't want to be labeled as selfish and mean yeah they want to uphold that victim image i am victim i am needy i need support and care otherwise uh, i will just perish so you know in order to you know uphold that in order to uh, you know project that image they never express their needs and concerns directly they will you know uh, do the indirect you know uh, talking yeah through the others and that's the reason covert narcissists are you know really pro in triangulating things yeah they are not going to tell you directly that they don't like this or they want they will get their flying monkeys and enablers to do the talking so the flying monkeys are going to reach out to you uh, and they are going to tell you have you got this for your wife have you done this for your mother have you done this for your father have you done this for your lover yeah they are going to you know do the talking so that this covert narcissist gets to preserve his or her victim image and the work is done he or she is not exposed he or she is not labeled as the mean one selfish one greedy one yeah. so covert narcissists are never going to you know directly convey their needs and desires and you know engage into open and a direct communication yeah because they fear being exposed yeah if if they are going to tell you what's in their heart and what they want out of you you might say oh my god i i thought you to be a good person but you are so selfish you are so mean you are so greedy they don't want you to see that yeah so they have that uh, you know a uh, usual uh, victim thing i am a victim i have gone through this i have gone through that plus we know that narcissists don't exist alone they build an ecosystem around them so narcissists flying monkeys and enablers are going to you know uh, come and enable them and normalize and rationalize their bad behavior plus do the talking on the narcissist behalf yeah the covert narcissist behalf so uh, you know covert narcissists are the one who engages you know into triangulation far more than the grandiose and the other types yeah because uh, you know these covert narcissists uh, really want to preserve and protect that victim image yeah and as a result of which they withhold a lot of information they you know change a lot of things in the timeline they will add in events they will you know withhold facts they will misconstrue and manipulate things in the past and cook up a story so you know i mean they are never honest with you they are going to uh, tell you a very sad story and you know they are never going to uh, express what is in their heart yeah and uh, you know they will express their disagreement they will express their dislike through the others yeah so the others might come and tell you uh, have you ever thought if you are going to get into all of these things what will happen to your mother all this is a kind of gaslighting have you ever thought if you will get into this or if you will do this what will happen to your uh, you know daughter what will happen to your wife what will happen to your husband so you know these enablers and flying monkeys will come and do the talking yeah and that's the reason narcissists have you know these uh, you know beings around them they hire the aggressive one becomes the flying monkey the lesser aggressive ones you know keep enabling the narcissist in hopes that one fine day their time will come and they'll also become 
narcissist. So enablers, you can say they are a nascent version of narcissists. So yes, uh, covert narcissists are never going to uh, validate you. Covert narcissists are never going to uh, disagree or dislike, you know, things uh, on your face. They are not going to express their disagreement or dislike, uh, I mean, directly to you. Yeah, because uh, they are victim. Yeah, and they are busy in playing victim and they don't want to mess that image. Yeah, so they will get uh, whatever they have to say. They will get the talking done through the others. So if you are in a relationship with a covert narcissist or if you have a covert narcissistic parent, uh, there will be a lot of, you know, unnecessary drama and chaos, uh, you know, uh, around. And, uh, you know, uh, these coverts might play victim and, you know, might uh, tell you, well, you just don't care. You have got no idea what I have gone through. And look, you're just concerned about yourself. Coverts are expert in guilt tripping you and shaming you for having needs. Yeah. And covert narcissists are not going to express love and affection the way how healthy individuals do. They will keep, you know, using that love and affection as a bargaining chip. Yeah. That's how sick these covert narcissists are. They'll keep on playing victim. They will put up unnecessary drama, crying, howling, and, uh, you know, uh, guilt tripping you. You just don't care, you know, not eating food, um, giving you silent treatment, behaving in a passive aggressive manner, uh, you know, constantly taunting you for having your own needs. Yeah, for doing things your way, they are going to keep on taunting you. Plus, they are going to get their flying monkeys to do the talking, to further torment you and make you feel guilty. Yeah, because uh, they are busy playing victim. Somebody has to do the talking. And that is the reason you will never be able to have a direct and an open conversation. In a healthy setup, in a somewhat healthy relationship there is open you know communication uh, there is a direct conversation if i don't like something i say hey i don't like it don't do it hey don't treat me this way hey i find this to be very abusive stop it these things happen in a healthy relationship but in a narcissistic relationship when you are with a covert narcissist unnecessary drama uh, unnecessary interference of a third party I mean they're flying monkeys and enablers uh, they are going to say well this might hurt your mother this might hurt your wife this might hurt her this ha might hurt him yeah so all those indirect talking it, it becomes very confusing and chaotic yeah? and in order to maintain peace we give up in order to maintain peace we give up on our dreams and desires because who wants to stay in that chaotic environment for long who who doesn't want to you know uh, feel safe in a relationship yeah? and uh, the only way somewhat the narcissists are going to make you feel safe in a relationship is when you are going to comply to them when you are going to obey them when you're going to keep serving them without questioning them yeah so narcissistic relationships are toxic it is unhealthy it has you know damaging effects on you and me so yep i mean coming back to the reason why covert narcissists uh, are not into direct and open communication it is because they fear being exposed and they don't want to be labeled as someone who's greedy wicked selfish yeah self-centered they don't want you know all of that being exposed so they let others do the dirty work and they keep playing victim i've gone through this i have done this i have been through this and uh, this is what i get in return they will keep on you know speaking indirectly and for the other things they have got uh, you know their monkeys and enablers so, so yeah. yes this was it in case if you would like to add in something you can always comment below till then take care of yourself lots of love and blessings to all of you bye